Well, welcome back to Man Cave Munchies. Today we're actually going to make pineapple upside down cake. Very, very simple recipe. We'll go over the ingredients in a minute, but basically we're going to do the whole thing in a cast iron pan. This is a 10, actually might even be a 10 and a half inch cast iron pan. Most people have that. It's really simple to do. Let's look at the ingredients real quick if we can, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make this thing very quickly. We have three quarters cups of regular sugar, um, granulated sugar, three quarter cups of brown sugar. We have a cup of all-purpose flour, two eggs, like to have those at room temperature, a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters teaspoons of baking powder. We have six rings from the pineapple. Uh, basically, when you, you take it out of the can, get the one with the natural juice, that's always really good. And we're gonna reserve two tablespoons of the natural juice, and then we have uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, we have eight tablespoons of butter, and we have six tablespoons of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, you can actually use sour milk. And you can actually sour the milk all by yourself. You need one cup of 2% milk fat, and 2% or higher on the milk, one tablespoon of white vinegar. Um, you can even use one tablespoon of lemon juice if you have that. Uh, basically, mix them together, let them sit for about five minutes, and you'll have sour milk, and it gives you that tanginess that you normally get with buttermilk if you don't have it. All right, let's put this thing together real quick. Uh, we're going to take just two tablespoons, actually three tablespoons of our butter. I want that at room temperature. I already have the pan hot. We're just going to melt that slightly. And what you want to do is just swirl it around. And I want to also make sure that the sides here get coated because we want that, uh, when the cake rises, we want to make sure that the cake is going to pop out. So you can just swirl it around. I like to grab a piece of it with, uh, with the fork. Just make sure you coat that really nicely. Take it off the flame and we're going to take our brown sugar and we're going to sprinkle that over top of the butter. That's going to give it that real kind of gooeyness that we have. Just spread it around. The, the butter will absorb into it. Uh, give it a few seconds. We're going to pop it right back over the, the fire just to, to heat it slightly so it melts. And that's where we're going to get that really nice kind of gooey top that you look for when you have a pineapple upside down cake. Um, you don't even have to wait too long. Take the pineapples Spread them around real evenly, around the pan. Again, very simple. And that's our seven pineapples. And a lot of people in the centers, if you want, you can put maraschino cherries. If you don't have those, you can put blueberries, raisins, uh, chunks of pineapple, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not gonna put anything today. Um, and that'll all cook together. And now we're ready to put the cake together. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients in one bowl and our wet ingredients in the next bowl. We're gonna take our six tablespoons of buttermilk or sour milk. We're gonna mix that with our pineapple juice. Again, two tablespoons, no problem. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna go ahead and take our two eggs and pour that together. And we just wanna mix that up. You can do that with a blender, you can do that with a whisk, but just, just get it all incorporated nicely. There you go. Now we're going to take our dry ingredients. We have one cup of all-purpose flour. Just dump that on in. We have three quarters, again, tablespoon, or three quarters cups of granulated sugar. Three quarters teaspoon of baking powder. One quarter baking soda. And one quarter teaspoon of salt. Put that together. Um, take our blender, just put it on low for a second, and now what we want to do is mix our wet ingredients in there. Take that all in. And we want to throw our very soft butter, the other six tablespoons, right into there. It has to be at room temperature, so this way it doesn't clump, but it'll mix really easily. I'm going to put that on low speed. Let's get that just moving around. We want to wait until it just gets incorporated. Now this batter is going to be thick. All right, that's all we really need. Now what we want to do is we're going to take the batter and we're going to pour it right over top of our pineapple sections. So now we're going to take that pour it right over the pineapples. Make sure we cover everything up really nice. You'll see the little chunks of butter in there, but those are all going to get incorporated in as this, as this cooks. Make sure we get air, you know, as much out as you can. You just want to grab the pan. Pop it into the oven. We're going to set our timer for 35 minutes. This will actually take anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes, but we're going to check it again at 35 minutes. As long as it, you'll see it's nice and brown on top and golden, 
and we're going to take a toothpick. As long as the toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, we're done. And then I'll show you how to flip it out and have your upside down cake. You're going to flip out? I'm going to flip out. The timer went off. And let's make sure that this thing is ready to go. Pull it out. See how nice golden brown it is. Insert the toothpick. Came out perfect. We're ready to go. That was about 35 minutes. What you want to do now is just shake it just to make sure all of the sides don't stick. And we're going to leave it sit there for five minutes and then we're, I'm going to show you how to flip it. Well, we waited our five minutes. Now we're going to deep pan the cake. We have a nice big bowl. I'm going to take the pan, shake it up one more time just to make sure. Put it on top and flip. And pray to God it comes out. Pray to God it comes out. And oh my voila. God. That go. is just too beautiful. Standing out, please. Tell, tell them the alternate method, Dave. Stand <laughs> on your head. Yeah, stand on your head. Flip the house. Either way, <laughs> it all works. So, and the nice part is, it's all out. So there we go. Um, we're gonna cut this up pretty soon, and actually, you can serve this with a little bit of uh, whipped cream. So, here we go. And now, off to the goulash. Do the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There the you go. Band dance. I got the band dance. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance. This is the way to grill pineapple upside down cake. The way I see it, any real grill master can do an entire meal, start to finish, appetizers through dessert. So here is one option for a great dessert done on the grill. Starts with pineapple. I'm gonna grill these beauties right here. What I've done already is to peel the pineapple and cut the rings into about a half an inch thickness and give them all a little light brushing of, of butter. I've got the grill set up for direct medium heat. I'm just gonna set them right down and caramelize that surface. I'm just looking for a nice golden brown. It's gonna develop some interesting flavor and it's gonna look nice. Very often I grill with the lid down, but in this case I'm gonna leave the lid open because I don't really wanna trap the smoke I want to keep an eye on these things. There's a lot of sugar in these and they, they can burn on me quickly. So I, now I've got some really good grill marks on there. I don't want to cook the pineapple completely through yet because it's going to cook actually in the skillet as well. All right, the pineapples are nicely brown. Now it's time to create kind of a glaze. I'm going to melt some brown sugar and cinnamon and uh, cream together and they're gonna flavor the pineapples really nicely. I'm using a heavy duty cast iron uh, pan here. This is just the, the leftover butter from the, the pineapples. And this is heavy cream. And I'm gonna to continue to cook here over direct medium heat. It's gonna take a couple of minutes for the sugar to melt and for the glaze to form. So take a look at this, bubbling away. Looks good already, huh? Obviously using an insulated mitt here and putting it on a heat proof surface. Now, very carefully, I'd like to arrange the pineapple in that syrupy glaze with both whole pieces and then some smaller pieces, however they fit. And then earlier, you saw me make that batter and here it is. I'm just going to spoon that over the top. It's a very light coating. I, did, I don't want this to be a super thick, cakey dessert. I want it to be more about the grilled pineapple. Spread it out. It'll puff up just a little bit because of the baking soda and the baking powder. And then we'll finish it by actually inverting the whole thing so the pineapples are on the top. Makes a really nice display and it's super delicious. Okay, so that's now ready to go back on the grill. It's gonna take about 40, maybe 50 minutes to cook through. Okay, check this out. It's been about 45 minutes. Cake is looking good. I can tell it's done because if I take a toothpick and insert it into the batter, pull it out, it's perfectly clean. So as I said, this cake gets inverted onto a platter so that the pineapples are on top. But before I do that, I just need to let it cool for about 10 minutes. 
That way the syrup will begin to congeal a little bit. It won't be so raging hot and it'll come out of the pan nice and easy. The moment has come. It's time to see if it actually does release easily. Just to help it along, I'm going to take a paring knife or a dinner knife, just run it around the outside, make sure that it has released at least from the side. And then get yourself a big platter, slightly larger than the skillet itself. And we're going to invert. How about that? Now you can serve this warm or at room temperature. If you really wanted to gild the lily, you could serve a little rum flavored whipped cream with this. But just as is, that's going to make somebody really happy. Who wants cake? <laughs> <laughs>